Hard drive. A hard drive is a traditional data storage device that uses spinning magnetic disks to store and retrieve data. It works by using an actuator arm with a read or write head that moves across the platters to access information. And the surface of the platter is also coated with a magnetic material that allows data to be written on it. Hard drives are commonly used in desktops, laptops, and servers due to their large storage capacities and affordability. It usually comes with 500 gigabytes to two terabytes, or even bigger, and the speed of a hard drive is measured in RPM, with typical speeds being 5,400 RPM or 7,200 RPM, which is around 100 to 160 megabytes per second, though some high-performance ones can reach like 10,000 RPM or more. In terms of life expectancy, a hard drive lasts between three and five years. The most common causes of hard drive failure include frequent electricity outages, overheating, and mechanical wear and tear. And since it has a mechanical arm and a plate, physical shocks can definitely break it. SSD. SSD is a data storage device that uses flash memory to store and retrieve information electronically. It works by storing data in NAND flash memory cells, which makes SSD significantly faster than a hard drive that uses spinning arm. And since they have no spinning disk or mechanical arms, they are less prone to physical damage and can withstand shocks and vibrations better than hard drives, and also has a longer lifespan, which is around five to 10 years. And about capacity, SSDs often come with 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes, while high-end PCs and gaming setups typically use one terabyte or two terabytes. For your information, there are different types of SSDs, SATA and NVMe. SATA SSD is the slower version, but still faster than a hard drive, typically offers speeds up to 600 megabytes per second. But NVMe SSDs, on the other hand, can reach speeds of several gigabytes per second, making them ideal for high-performance tasks like gaming and video editing. There are also types of SSDs based on their form factor, which basically their physical shape and interface. So if you want to buy an SSD, always check the form factor, okay? Cloud storage. Cloud storage allows users to store and access data over the internet instead of on physical devices. It works by saving files on remote servers, typically of popular services like Google Drive, Dropbox, and iCloud. And then the data is encrypted and duplicated across multiple data centers in different cities. So if one data center fails because of natural disasters or something, your data is still safe and accessible from another location as long as you're connected to the internet. The safety and reliability make cloud storage widely used for backups, file sharing, and business data management. But usually you have to pay some money for a subscription service if you want to use bigger storage. Oh yeah, there's another type of cloud storage and that is network attached storage or NAS. This thing functions like the other services as well, but you get to own and manage everything. So the way this works is you put some hard drives into the available slots, and then it needs to be connected to a local network like Wi-Fi, which allows multiple users to access files remotely if they're in the same network. This way, you have a huge amount of storage without needing to subscribe to some cloud services. However, it requires you to do many configurations and maintenance like update. Also, since this thing needs to run 24 seven, an electrical outage can either corrupt your data or even damage the drivers. So you need to put in extra effort and money to provide an uninterruptible power supply, which acts like a backup battery to prevent damage from sudden electrical outages. Optical disc. Disk storage is a method of storing data on optical disks using laser technology. Information is written as microscopic pits on the surface of the disk, which a laser reads by detecting how light reflects off these pits. Unlike SSDs or hard drives that are used to store many different types of files, optical disks are usually used to store specific files like movies, music, or operating systems. The first type of optical disk is the compact disk, or CD, which can only store up to 700 megabytes of data. Originally developed for audio storage, CDs became a standard format for music albums and software distribution. As storage demands increased, the digital versatile disk, or DVD, was introduced, offering 4.7 seven gigabytes of storage for single layer disks and 8.5 gigabytes for dual layer versions. DVDs then became the dominant format for movies and video games. And eventually the Blu-ray disc was developed to support high definition video or large game files with storage capacities of 25 gigabytes for single layer and 50 gigabytes for dual layer discs. But nowadays, optical discs as a whole have declined in popularity due to digital downloads and streaming services. And what's bothersome is if a disc gets scratched, then the data stored in it won't be readable anymore. USB drive. 
A USB drive, also known as a flash drive or thumb drive, is a portable storage device that uses flash memory to store and transfer data. Basically, it's like an SSD that also uses the same type of storage, but smaller. They connect to devices through a USB port, allowing users to quickly transfer files between computers and other compatible devices. USB drives come in different storage capacities, ranging from a few megabytes in early models to several gigabytes and even one terabyte in modern versions. The speed of a USB drive depends on its interface, with USB 2.0 offering speeds up to 480 megabits per second, while USB 3.0 and 3.1 can reach 5 gigabits per second to 10 gigabits per second. However, it doesn't matter how fast they are, because they're prone to loss due to their small size, so you better be careful where you put them. Memory Card a memory card is a small, portable storage device that also uses flash memory to store and transfer data. They are lightweight, durable, and resistant to physical shocks, and usually used in many devices like smartphones, cameras, or gaming consoles. Memory card types include standard SD, micro SD, and mini SD cards. But micro SD cards are the most widely used today, especially in drones and action cameras. Storage capacities range from a few megabytes in early models to one terabyte or more in modern high-capacity versions. Another important factor is speed class, which determines how fast data can be written and read. So if you see a higher number, it means it's a higher quality. Floppy disk. A floppy disk is a magnetic storage device like hard drive that was widely used from the 1970s to the early 2000s. It consists of a thin, flexible magnetic disk enclosed in a plastic shell, which is inserted into a floppy drive for reading and writing. Floppy disks come in different sizes, but all of them could only hold 1.44 megabytes of data at max, yet they became the standard for software distribution and document storage before USB drives and cloud storage took over. But despite being long outdated, floppy disks still live on in pop culture and memes. Many people joke about their tiny storage capacity or about the save file icon of video game as well. By the way, if you have a floppy disk, comment down below. Magnetic tape. A magnetic tape is a data storage medium that records information on a thin strip of magnetized plastic film. It was widely used in the 1950s to the early 2000s for data backups, archiving, and audio video recording. Unlike modern storage devices, magnetic tape is sequential, meaning data is written and read in order, rather than randomly accessed like in hard drives or SSDs. This makes it slower for retrieving specific files, but highly efficient for storing large amounts of data. Despite being considered outdated, magnetic tape is still used in data centers of the IBM company. Government archives and large-scale backups also use it because of its low cost, high durability, and massive storage capacity. Even modern tape cartridges like Linear Tape Open can hold multiple terabytes of data and can last more than 30 years, making them ideal for long-term archival storage. And this is also the most secure data storage because it's not constantly connected to a network and it's not easily tampered with like the other data storage. Oh yeah, talking about security, I made a cool video about every type of computer virus, so don't forget to watch it, okay?